Hi, I'm Joyce. I'm the Energy Lady. Um, one of the things that have really occurred to me, and I don't know about you, but everything in my email box is chock full of things being sold. Oh, we've got to sell it at White House Market. We've got to sell on Chico's. We've got to sell it Victoria's Secret. Or this is your one and only chance to get this at this price. Everything is for sale. Everything. And everything's on sale. And then I, it occurred to me about if you're an entrepreneur, you're always trying to sell yourself. You're always trying to sell what you have to offer to somebody else. So they'll buy from you. But how often are you trying to sell yourself to yourself? How do you feel about you when you think about yourself? And so many times when I'm working with clients, they're, that's their biggest hang up and that's where they get stuck is how they see themselves and how they experience themselves. And if you're one of those, that is where self-forgiveness comes in. I find forgiving self to be one of the biggest tools to catapult you into experiencing more self-love, experiencing more confidence, and experiencing the ability to um, trust life. I know the first time I went to China and it took a lot out of me to get there. I mean, not just doing PowerPoints and all that other stuff, but the confidence of going somewhere on my own so far away from home. And so the very first night in class, and I asked the students, what do you want me to teach you? And they raised their hands and said, teach us confidence. All I could think of is how the heck am I going to teach confidence? I don't feel confident. And then I realized that doing those hard things that it took me to get to China gave me confidence in who I was and what I could accomplish and what I could do. And so my formula for getting confidence is do hard things. Do the things that scare you. Now, you may have that little voice in your head that says, you can't do that. Are you crazy? That voice that says, you're not good enough at that. Or you, you're not, you never have been. Or somebody is definitely better than you. And there always will be somebody better than you at something. Okay. But do something that scares you, that challenges you. And watch to see your confidence level bump up. How did this come around from selling? Because you know what? Every day you sell yourself to yourself. Every morning when you wake up in the mirror and you look in the mirror, you are trying to sell yourself to yourself. I like who I am. I like my body. I like what I look like. I love this soul. So if you're one of those that doesn't feel very confident or doesn't like who you are, then start selling yourself to yourself, okay? Quit trying to sell yourself to everybody else. Let yourself know what you like about you. It might be your big toe, but start somewhere, okay? And do something that challenges you, scares you, that you're afraid to do, and watch your confidence level jump. So that's my little tip for the day. And hope you have a great one.